Hey everyone, Duke here. Today we're not going to be talking about a mask, but a particularly uncommon blower unit, in this case being the Recall Health and Safety Lightweight Powered Air Purifying Respirator, or LW Papper, Pusher Fan and Control Unit. Now, our story doesn't begin with the M45 as you see here, it actually begins with another mask, the M43 chemical biological mask, which sometime before the Gulf War, they had realized that the blower unit for that mask was quite ungainly. It was quite bulky and was uh, proprietarily aircraft mounted. It could be carried on the person, but it was not very convenient to manage. So one of their original solutions with the upgraded M43A1 mask was to have a attach on auxiliary blower unit, um, which meant that you had basically when you were bailing out of the aircraft, you left the blower in the helicopter uh, and then you just kind of slapped on an auxiliary blower. And then around the Gulf War, they experimented with another design, which they never officially adopted, known as the M43A2, which was more or less just an M43. But instead of using the chunkier blower unit, it used two of these lightweight papper units or the LW papper uh, pusher fans and control boxes that you can see there. Um, However, after the Gulf War, they haven't, they didn't really have a use for these because at the time they were working on the XM44 series and they were eventually going to phase out the M43 series with the M48 and M49. The M49 got replaced by the M45 and the story goes on from there. And basically what ended up, what ended up happening with the large stocks of these LW Papper units left over from the Gulf War is they just recycled them into the M45 kit, specifically the Air Warrior kit, which you can see here with the hose, which is a pretty standard non-metallic hose, but the only difference between the Air Warrior non-metallics and the M42 non-metallic hoses is that the Air Warrior non-metallic hoses will have this little loop of webbing with a plastic buckle and a clip to attach it to the pilot's um, survival vest. Um, these hoses are quite uncommon. They're literally no different than a standard M43 hose. Uh, no, excuse me, M42 hose, but literally, legitimately the only difference is this little clip here. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the LW Papper. So, as I mentioned, a lot of them got recycled into the M45 kit, and so it is more common to see them with just one blower alone. And it's also quite hard to find these control boxes, because those control boxes were are actually meant for the M43A2 kit, where it used two of them. However, when the Air War the M the M45 Air Warrior mask got adopted, uh, they only needed one of those blowers, and so most most often than not, the blowers would be plugged into an auxiliary power connector in the aircraft rather than being attached to a separate battery. Although, however, in some cases, like with the A slash P two two P V respirator, which is that um, latex rubber air crew hood thing that fetishes often buy, but it costs like five hundred dollars on eBay, pretty much. Um, those use a gray rubber variant of these blowers. Um, and as far as I know that these blowers were originally designed by Recall Health and Safety, which is now owned by 3M, but back then it was a British company, and they were originally designed for the um, the AR5, which in the U.S. became the A-P22P series. Um, so anyways, it, it, I've, I've seen plenty of these LW Papper blowers, uh, specifically the tan ones. The tan ones were Army, and like I said, the gray ones were Navy and uh, Air Force used with the A-P22P. Um, but these tan ones are always dated 1991 as you can see this one here if you can zoom in on that is dated january 10th 1991 you have the mo the motor embedded in the rubber itself secured with a zip tie with the part number and company name on there and then there is the air inlet with the deflector and i don't know if you can see in there but that there is a fan a circular fan in there that is completely exposed so any debris that could potentially get jammed up inside there is going to pretty much brick this thing unfortunately but the neat thing about these little blowers is that they act as not only a blower but also a decon cover so once you have these on the filter as you can see they still have the cardboard um form inside here from when these were unissued they, these will come with a cardboard ring to prevent these from warping um but uh anywho the yeah so these were um these also act as a decon cover in addition to being a small blower unit. And I bet you're wondering how powerful are these. Uh, they're not the greatest, but, um, you know, in comparison to like a C420. Um, and the only reason these were used is because the C420s were only issued, at, at the beginning they were only issued to US SOCOM, and they were also issued to the uh, Apache crews for the M48 chemical biological mask. And so most other general purpose Army air crews simply got... M43 Air, Air Warrior masks with just a standalone C2 or C2A1 canister with the canister baffle on the inlet, or in some lucky cases, they got LW Papper blowers, which uh, most of the time, the 
M45 ones would be stamped M45 mask blower along this edge here. And then also the connector would not be the 3M Breathe Easy, or in this case the Recall Airstream connector, um, which has a three prong, as you can see here. I've seen ones that are stamped M45 mask blower where these have just a single um, port connector, sort of like a, an audio jack, it looks like, but it's not really. But again, I would assume that these were re retrofitted to use within the aircraft's, air aircraft's auxiliary power connector. Um, but enough about that. Let's get into the details of the blower itself. Let's get move on to the uh, control unit. So the control unit is just a big box of plastic. You have two switches on the sides. This one turns the unit on or off. And this one controls the speed. So this is a two-speed blower. Pressing it once or just leaving it alone, it, it starts off on the low power level. But if you press it, it makes the, the blower go faster, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. Uh, you have several Velcro straps along the exterior. Uh, sometimes the, the p positions of these straps vary. I know Moulage has one. If you look at our uh, XM45 review, it has one strap going all the way across the back into the front. This one just has a weird loop, which may be for a hose, maybe for something else. I'm not entirely sure what these um, horizontal straps exactly did, but this vertical strap, obviously, is to secure the battery. These used a multitude of different batteries, um, pretty much just three, and they're all proprietary and very hard to find. Uh, these ones, um, this is these are this is a non-rechargeable BA5847BU battery. I know that there's another one. I think it's like the BA5847. I don't know. It's it's, an, it's another one like this. It's non-rechargeable, and you can pick these batteries up in some places for around the ballpark of nine to fifteen dollars. Uh, I would say on average, that's if you're knowing what you're looking for. The rechargeable ones are going to be much harder to find for a decent price, as the market for those typically runs from uh, anywhere from like seventy to one hundred and twenty dollars on average. Um, it could be more than that. And keep also keep in mind that the chargers for those rechargeable batteries are quite uncommon. Um, but enough about that. Now, uh, looking at the top of the blurry, you can see there's two connector ports and what looks to be little holes for perhaps a dust cover that isn't present on this. Um, and obviously, having the two ports there was originally designed for the M43A2 configuration, where it just used a standard M43 hose block, where it used the two C2 or C2A1 canisters, but instead of using the M43 blower, it used one of these, um, which is much more lighter weight, and I wouldn't say it's more convenient to carry, um, but it certainly makes it uh, a lot more manageable, I would assume. But anyways, having one blower plugged in, uh, I will power it on. And this controls the speed. And now that that's out of the way, I will plug in two blowers to sort of show you. I have another LW Papper here, which is actually Moulage's. Uh, his is dated... Um, markings are much clearer on his too. Uh, March 28th, 1991. So again, these are all 1991 dated. And this, his has some weird block zip tied to the cord. I'm not sure what this thing does exactly. I've seen this, I've seen this on other power cords before. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I'm not an electrician. So if anyone knows what the purpose of these blocks are, again, it's free to rotate. It's not like integral to the cord. It's just something they slipped on over it and kind of zip tied so it wouldn't slide out of position. But that's there. Um, but obviously... Uh, just plugs right in, and it doesn't really pr affect the performance of the blower at all. And I'm going to try not to use this battery too much because, again, this is a non-rechargeable. And although we can find spares, um, I'd it might be much better to not have to. So, anyways, both blowers running. And that's pretty much the gist of that. Um, I, I don't really have much else to say about these. These are very uncommon. Right now, um, there's currently a listing for these on eBay, but I would not go after them. A few people currently have dibs on those, and I would respect that personally. Um, so I, I would say just leave these to the collectors. These aren't really worth anything worth considering. They're not a really a decent replacement for the C420. They're You need to have specialty pouches in order to hold this thing, um, uh, which are very difficult to locate. And... Obviously, the battery is being proprietary. It's going to be much. It's not really a convenient solution to use instead of a C420. Although I do like the design of the um, uh, the blowers themselves. Just the overall configuration is not the greatest. So keep that in mind. Um, just again, leave these to the collectors. You don't don't buy these for your personal kit or whatever. They're not really meant for that. These are just a weird air crew blower that history forgot. So. I uh, hope you got a good view of that. If there's any questions or comments you have about these, let me know. I am Duke, and I will see you all later.